This is called something to cry about. The house fire began to cry. She had been working hard on this home on the edge of town for what seemed like all afternoon, fully enjoying herself and her bliss, this eager, smiling blaze she was. And she was halfway through consuming this residence. And now the fire department had to show up and ruin everything. Just like they always did. In a whirl of anguish and rage, the house fire ran down the stairs and met the firemen at the front door. Why are you guys trying to put me out? She sobbed, loud and desperate and with a rush of red, bright air. Just leave me alone and go away! She screamed. She wept hot water and her tears were fast embers. She drew in a lungful of air, but then caught another scream before it could leave her throat. She knew it was useless to argue or to beg these plastic men for her life. She knew they didn't see her as worthy, didn't see her the way they obviously saw the ones just like themselves. This was all the more frustrating because the firemen were yelling, but they were yelling at each other, not at her. It was humiliating. It was almost like they couldn't hear her, no matter how loud, how bright, how hot she made herself. The end arrived with a sound like a seashore shushing you. The firemen brought more water than she was able to burn away. The firemen all swore they heard screams too, but they never found a body. <laughs>